Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, back again with another Schwinn IC4 video. And I appreciate all your questions, keep them coming, and I'll continue to try to respond to every question face on video. And if you're shopping for the Schwinn IC4, the mat like I use, the shoes like I use, expand this video's description, and then click the link there and you can find where to order it all online. Within this video, I'm going to respond to the question, excuse me, the question, how do you make the... Uh, Swin IC4 harder or easier to pedal? How do you change Swin IC4 resistance? Well, you know, unlike a traditional bicycle outside, you don't have you don't have gears to change. What you got is this red knob. And if you turn it to the left, it makes it easier. So here's a little minus sign. You turn it to the right, it makes it tougher. Um, and there's a little, uh, let's see, I don't have my shoes on here. But there's a little screen here. See, it says level. So if I go to the left, it goes down. If I go to the right, it goes up. See, look at that. It's magic. So that's how you change the resistance. And it is worth mentioning, this bike does not have friction pads. It uses magnetic resistance, which is which is so much better. That means you don't have uh, you don't have pads to replace. You don't have pads that wear unevenly and make the resistance inconsistent over time. You don't have pads that heat up and maybe produce funny odors. It's just really cool. But yeah, that's how you how you change the resistance, how you make it easier to pedal, or how you make it tougher to pedal. Hope this video helped. And again, be sure to subscribe. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. And check out all my other Schwinn IC4 videos too. Y'all have a good day.